first law of motion. Newton's first law states that every object continues in a state of rest or of uniform speed in a straight line, unless acted on by a non-zero net force. Newton's first law usually is called the law of inertia. Inertia is the property of a body to resist changes to its own state of motion. <laughs> the law of inertia is also known as the lazy law, the property that keeps the object going until another force is applied. The measurement that we use for this is called mass. In Newton's first law, or the law of inertia, a force is required. A force is a push or a pull, which is needed to change an object's state of motion. Most often, more than one force acts on an object. The combination of all forces acting on an object is called the net force. As you can see in this video, the hand is the force which is being pressed against the paper, which is causing the ink to spread. Newton's second law states that an object's acceleration is inversely proportional to its mass. What that means is that if your acceleration is greater, it means that your mass is smaller. For example, if I take this foam ball and this basketball and I roll them on the floor, then which one will go faster? The foam ball. It will go faster and farther because it has a much smaller mass than this basketball. And as you see, the foam ball went much faster and farther. Another example of Newton's second law is over to the left of me, we have a tank of air. It's 100 pounds of air. Now, watch what happens when we put two, di two different balls with different masses on the same amount of force. The smaller ball went a lot higher. That's because there is less mass, but the same amount of force. This is because acceleration and mass are inversely proportional to each other. Therefore, Newton's second law. And now, Newton's third law. I'm pushing on this wall, but it's not going anywhere. Why is it not moving? Well, Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, as I'm pushing on this wall, it's pushing back on me with the same amount of force in a different direction. Therefore, it does not push me back and I do not push it back. Another example of this law is if I take this ball and I drop it on the floor, as it hits the floor, the floor also hits it. And that is Newton's third law. Here is another example of Newton's third law. Right here, we have a bottle filled with water. We have poked holes in the bottom of the bottle. As water escapes from the holes in the bottle, the bottle will begin to spin. The action of this is water escaping the bottle. The reaction to this action is the bottle begins to spin. Once the bottle stops spinning, it means that the water has stopped coming out of the holes. Newton's third law. I'm
Grab a ice cold sun drop and show us how you drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it. Cause I got it going on. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. A first witch in 